Meanwhile, the Department of Energy is poised to institute a stronger multi-agency task force to curb oil smuggling in the Philippines. Here's our BizWatch correspondent Heidi Santos with the details. Energy Secretary Alfonso G. Cusi has written the Department of Justice seeking to revive their old task force. The Energy Secretary is seeking an expanded membership in the task force in order to enforce the law against violations of trade in the oil sector. The membership in the revived task force will be composed of representatives from the Department of Justice, the Department of Trade and Industry, the Bureau of Customs, Bureau of Internal Revenue, and the National Bureau of Investigation. The Bureau of Customs and the Bureau of Internal Revenue will be instrumental in the propounded fuel marking policy. The DOF wants this improved from the old setup, which only apply to tax-exempt products and not on tax-paid fuel imports. The rest of the details with our BizWatch correspondent. On the part of the Department of Energy, the agency wants to input consumption as a component of the review process that the reinforced task force will focus on. The agency chief explained that with the Bureau of Customs validating the importation, the outcome is already equal to the declared importation. However, there always seems to be a discrepancy on the volume of consumption when these are validated on the ground. Secretary Kusi said that consumption is always higher than the level of declared product importations, which means that the math doesn't add up. Secretary Kusi said that he has made it their main goal to reconcile this, hence the proposed stronger task force. In the task force, DOE will just extend help on the technical validation of the quality of fuels being shipped. Their main concern, Kusi said, is to ensure that the quality of the fuel is not altered when they reach customers or the retail pumps. From recent studies, the Department of Energy said that the government is losing between 30 to 36 billion pesos annually in revenues. We hope this proposed strengthened task force will be up to the job at hand. 